So according to Duval County School District officials, students at the well-respected Magnet School told investigators that Brian Damron made vulgar comments and advances toward them that made them feel uncomfortable. He stepped down from his position earlier this month. Channel 4's Vic Michalucci joining us live from school district headquarters after looking into these allegations and speaking with students. Vic? Well, I talked with several students this afternoon who say that they are very surprised about this and caught off guard because this was a man who they say had a good reputation and was very popular at the school, but now they are concerned over these serious allegations. I mean, everybody seemed to like him. It's a black eye for a high school that's consistently ranked among the top in the country. I, mean, I was just surprised. I didn't even know about it, what was going on. Seniors at Stanton College Prep told me off campus this afternoon that word about the band director is spreading fast. Duval school officials started investigating Damron on September the 8th after the principal of Stanton got a complaint from a parent here. That parent said Damron was making sexual advances to her son. She found messages Damron sent to the 10th grade band member on Facebook. That teen told an investigator that Damron made comments about his private areas while he was wearing his band uniform and then boasted that he slept with two previous band captains. Other students gave similar statements, even saying Damron said, let's get naked when they were trying on band uniforms. This type of behavior is totally inappropriate for anybody associated with working with kids in the school. There should be no conversations about sex or any implications thereof. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith is a former school resource officer. He says, according to the investigation, Damron never physically touched any of the children inappropriately, so criminal charges are unlikely. But still, the communication was inappropriate, but not illegal. There's really no reason to have that type of communication. Um, with a student. Students we spoke to say if the allegations are true, they're glad this teacher is gone. I would hate for anyone to go through that. Like as a teacher, doing that to a student, that's just, that makes, puts the student in a really awkward situation, you know, like they don't know what to do. And I discovered that last year, Damron was in fact warned by the same school for using inappropriate and vulgar language in the classroom. He submitted only one line in his resignation letter in which he did not talk about the allegations. This afternoon, I also reached out to his attorney who said neither of them had any comment about the case. Reporting live on the South Bank, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.